Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. I think I said that before once or twice, not sure. Anyway, uh, guys, today we're going to do a modeling video in my 2018 and we're going to be doing a pretty elaborate uh, door hinge of a castle door. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well we're in Maya 2018. I loaded up a reference image of uh, the object that we're going to be modeling, which is basically a very decorative and detailed uh, door hinge. Okay, now I took this uh, photograph uh, at a uh, castle that was uh, built in uh, 1400, so quite old. And uh, we're going to try and make something that looks like this, okay? It's going to be part of a, uh, an elaborate door that I'm working on, and uh, you'll see how that turns out in the thumbnail, okay? So that said, let's get started. So we're going to start with the part where there's a hinge. And uh, for that, we'll take a polygon cube. We'll hit R. We'll, uh, I'll just scale it up a bit so you guys can see it better. And then we're going to uh, flatten it in this direction like this. And then I'm going to go up to uh, create. We're going to go to curve tool, CV curve tool. I'm going to jump to my top view. And we're going to start to create a curve somewhere around here. And we're going to start to wrap that around into something that will give us a circle. Okay. Now, when that's in place, you can right click and go in if you like and control vertices if you want to manipulate them. So we can, for example, move this one up a little bit and maybe move this up here just to play with that. I think this looks okay, all right? So we're gonna go back in and uh, I'm gonna right click, go to face, select this face, shift select my curve, hit control E to extrude and then we're going to go in and we're going to add some division okay so we're going to drag on division here as we do that you see that this circle starts to be created and uh, i don't know how high poly you are allowed to go depending on whether you're making a game model or not but uh, i think this looks right so i'm going to go in i'm going to select it i'm going to go to edit delete by type and history to get rid of that so i can now go into my outliner take that curve and delete that curve okay now we have detail at the top and at the bottom here. So what I want to do is mirror this over. Um, so what I'm going to do here is go in, I'm going to right click on the face and I'm going to click and shift double click to select the entire bottom row and get rid of it. Okay. Then from here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this guy. We're going to extend that out. So I hit control E, we're going to pull that out until we have something that has an appropriate length and we're just going to do an estimate. I think that's about right. And then from here, we're going to right click, go to object mode. We're going to hit E to rotate this guy, flip her over again. So it's facing upward. And then we're basically going to repeat the process that we just did. Okay. So again, we're going to go to uh, create curve tool and CV curve tool. We'll start somewhere around here and we're going to do it slightly different. I'm just going to flare this up like so. I think that looks all right. We're going to hit enter and then I'm going to go in. I'm going to right click go to face, select that face, shift select that curve, hit control E. Uh, again, we're going to add division, which will give us that nice rounded shape. But we're also going to go in and we're going to taper. So we're going to taper that into a little point there, not too pointy and as we do that you'll see that the thickness will decrease as well which is uh, kind of cool so that looks okay uh, i think anyway uh, let's see if we got anything that we need to add as far as our reference is concerned yeah we do but we'll do that later uh, what we can do here and i think that looks kind of cool is go in and let's go in and delete the history first so we don't get in trouble with that curve. Edit, delete by type history. We'll go in, we'll select that curve, we'll delete it. And then we'll go in here and we'll right click go to vertex. Take this vertex right here and maybe put it up here and take this one. And what I'll do is I'll hold down X to snap it. And then we'll take this one 
yeah it's kind of cool let's just see what we got here and you can go in if you like right click go to vertex take this one and this one kind of push it down a little and we're gonna have a kind of a bolt on there uh, at a later stage so and then we'll take these And maybe just bring that down to add a little bit of extra detail and then go in here I uh, will do that one later okay so yeah and this is gonna be smoothed out later as well so keep that in mind so now we have that uh, let's see we'll take our reference and I'll just make this a bit bigger and hit W and push it back so we've got that part. We need a section going straight forward there. We can do that after this is mirrored. Uh, so let's focus on the curve on the top side there. Okay. So let's see what face that's gonna be. And uh, that's gonna probably be this one. So I'm gonna go in and double click on this edge. Hit Control Delete. And maybe even, well, yeah, we'll do that one. So it's gonna be about this face right here. Okay, so we're going to go in here, we're going to jump into the top, we're going to go to uh, create curve tool, CV curve tool, it's going to be somewhere around here. So let's start there. And we don't have to perfectly mimic our reference, you can put in some creativity there. So maybe we can do, I don't know. Let's try something like this, just for the heck of it. Why not? I just kind of like to mix that up a little bit, right? So now that we have that, let's go in here and let's see. Yeah, we'll go in, get this guy out of the way. Just hit H for a minute. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click, get a face, like this face, shifts like the curve, control E to extrude, increase the division count to let's say 40. We're gonna do a little taper here. So let's push that in a way that it's, yeah, I think that looks okay. Cool. Nice and thin, that's cool as well. So that's good. And then let's see, we need to tweak a couple of things, but that's fine, we'll do that. Let's see if we need to, I think the divisions is fine. The vision is okay, taper seems to be okay. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. So I'm gonna to go to object mode and I'm gonna to go to edit. I'm delete by type and history. Just get rid of that so we can go in here, take our curve and delete it. And then let's go in here in our top view and modify this a little bit, okay? So these are kind of bunched up here. So I'm gonna take this vertex and I'm just gonna move that a little. Try to get a slightly better flow here. And if you want, you can go in and add additional uh, vertices. I don't think it's that bad, but I think that's all right. Maybe we need to move this a little. But all in all, I'm not unhappy. I think that looks okay. Now we can tweak this end here if you like. Um, I saw a kind of cool pattern there that I think I want in here. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. Let's do a preview smooth and see what we got. So when we hit three on a keyboard, you see that we kind of lose that shape in the end here. So let's go in and make sure that doesn't happen. So we're going to go to Injured Edge Loop. Let's uh, see, it's at the manual, that's fine. And first of all, I'm going to add here and here. And then we'll do one here, here, there, and there. That should be a big difference. And then we'll do, yeah, okay. And uh, let's try that again. Let's hit three. Yeah, much better, much, much better. 
Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna hit one to go back. It's time to mirror this over. So I got this. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, go to edit, delete by type history once again, uh, modify freeze transformation, and now I'm gonna move my pivot point if I need to, yeah, and I do. Hit the insert key, hold down V on your keyboard and snap it down and hit the insert key once again. Okay, so we're gonna go up to uh, edit, duplicate special option box. Let's go to edit and reset settings. I want an instance, uh, leave that alone. And I want a negative one on Z or a Z, depending on where you live, okay? And hit duplicate special, there you go. So we've got these two, I'm gonna select them. I'm gonna to go to mesh and uh, combine. And then I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna right click and go to the vertices in the middle, the ones that are touching, if you will, these. And we're gonna to go to edit mesh and merge. Click here, hit enter, and there you have it. Let's do another quick preview smooth here. Let's hit three. Not too bad, want to go back. Just want to have a few of these uh, edges hardened. So we're gonna go to insert edge loop here. Not that one, let's go back. That's certainly gonna help, okay. Okay, not too bad. So now we got this part right here. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do here is let's go in here, take this face and this face and delete them and then right click the edge and double click on this one, shift double click on this one and go to edit mesh and bridge, which gives us a face right here, this guy. We're gonna uh, control E to extrude, and W to move forward like this and let's go in here and right click go to vertex drag click these top two here kind of bring it down like so maybe flare them out a little and then let's see if we can uh, create something cool here so what we can do is uh, let's take a polygon pipe Let's hit W, move that out. And we are going to hit R to scale it up. We're gonna hit Control A. Actually, we already got that open. Let's set this to six, maybe five. Five is probably cooler, yeah, it is. So what I'll do is I'll move the pivot point, okay? Hit the insert key and hold down a V and move the pivot to one of these corners, hit the enter key again, control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down a J. Let's see if that is a correct fit, not quite. So release J and do this. And then hit shift D and we've got three of them. And then what you can do is Right click, go to object mode, select all of them, mesh and combine. And then if you want, you can go in here, take these two and go to edit mesh and merge. Looks like we're gonna have to do it manually, which is okay. Let's look at our object. Let's make sure it doesn't look too weird. Oh, that's kind of cool, yeah. And we're gonna hit E to rotate this guy, flip it around. Let's see if we can get this in position. Let's rotate that some more. W to move it up. Hard to scale it down. Let's go to modify and center pivot and then double click here open that up and make sure we're in a world orientation. Okay, let's uh, 
Hit W, move it. Hard scale it down. Let me move it in. I think that will look pretty cool. And we just need to raise this up a little bit. So we're going to hit vertex. I like it. Okay, so we've got object mode. We're going to go to mesh and combine. There you have it. And then we need to have a strap to hold these two down. So we're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to hit R. We're going to pull that out like this. Hit W, pull it up a little. Hit R to give that some thickness. W to bring it in. That looks about right. Then we're going to go into Injured Edge Loop, Option Box. So we're going to set that to multiple and set it to two. Let's go in. Hit R to push them out to the end there. And then we're going to hit Q on our keyboard. Go to face, select one and the other. Hit Control E to extrude and W to pull down. Let's have a look and see how far. That seems to be about right. And then when we go in and go to object mode and hit three, we'll get something looking like this, which is not too far off from the original. So we're just going to go to mesh and smooth on this, and then we're going to go in on the top. And let's go to edge. I'll just select these guys and hit R. Just so we get somewhat more decorative shape, okay? Now, um, that's that. What we're going to do next is we're going to go in, we're going to drag select, we're going to go to uh, mesh and, uh, whoops, not conform, sorry, mesh, come on, mesh and combine. Let's go to mesh and smooth. Looks like we need to go in here and fix this. So hit control Z to go back. So let's go to injured edge loop. Let's do one. For for wireframe mode, let's put in one in here. Yeah, there you go. And then hit five for shaded mode. We can put one in here if you want. And we'll have to do it here and here as well. Let's have a go. Edit mesh and mesh and smooth. All right, this is what we have so far. Uh, let's see here whether we want to smooth this or not. Let's hit three and have a look. Mm, no. Okay, so now we have this. What we're gonna do next is uh, go in here. Uh, let me see, in face, these two. We're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude. Let's hit R and uh, push them in like this, and then maybe in like this. And then we're going to hit the G to repeat and W to push up. And R to scale in. I think that's about it. Okay, so it's time to take this into uh, ZBrush. So let's go to Mesh and uh, Combine. It's already combined, that's okay. Uh, edit, delete by type, history, modify, freeze transformation. And let's go up to uh, export selection. I'll save it on my desktop and I'll just call this hinge obj. 
and we'll save it as an OBJ and, and there we go and then let's go into ZBrush here we go all right so let's add a little subdivision here okay but I think I'm gonna remesh so I'm gonna go to uh, geometry and uh, let's see here's our remesher yeah let's uh, remesh that which will give us a completely different flow here which uh, looks kind of cool uh, let's see then I'm gonna go into divide and divide that maybe a bit more than this even yeah it's starting to get there we're at 277,000 1.1 million maybe one more that's 4.4 that's a bit too high so 1.1 million that's where we're at okay so this is what we got and I'm gonna go in here and take my uh, trim dynamic brush and it's already selected that's fine and we're just going to go in here and kind of ding it up a bit. That's too much. Always try to be a bit careful there. I'm just going to turn off my uh, wireframe so we can see what's going on. And basically just try to get rid of those clean lines. You don't want it to be too clean. We'll just uh, bang it up here and there and normally you would take your time this is probably the part of the process that takes the longest so don't rush it uh, I'm obviously going very fast for the simple reason that this is a tutorial but hopefully you understand what I mean and you will take your time don't want that Bolt to be damaged there. Let's have a look. I think that was kind of cool. Okay. All right, so um, yeah, that is basically it, guys. And uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, put this into position on my final model so you can see uh, how it turned out. But that's basically how you uh, create something like this.